Here we have two twinned carrier 58 GP125 heaters and then we have above that a giant A coil that is a uh, 10 ton A coil it's kind of weird it's four foot long and it has inputs for two five ton coils so over here what we have is we have two liquids coming in and two suctions going out and we have the TXVs and then this big coil here is 48 inches long so instead of having two separate coils they are as far as Freon they're two separate coils but they're in one mechanical package which is kind of odd and right now on this the one that's on the three phase line uh, is all functioning and the one in the one phase line has leaks so I'm gonna have to charge this with some nitrogen and a tad of uh, R22 and find the leak and the weird thing is is that on the three phase line here that's from 1985 it has an EER of around eight and a half that's a carrier round five ton unit and on the one phase line is a ream it's a 10 ton unit and when it was installed this line would vibrate all the time back and forth and so there's probably a fatigue failure hopefully it's right over there at the connection but uh, it might be back in the coil and then I'm basically screwed but uh, this hasn't been taken apart for years anyways the coil in there is five foot long or four foot long and to get out get it out of there I had to swing both furnace connections out and again these are two 125,000 BTU uh, furnaces from 1985 they both still work and then this giant coil up there uh, I wish they would have put two discrete coils that you could physically separate uh, get out of there but they've got one giant uh, four foot long coil and uh, it goes to five, two five-ton air conditioners. And uh, I was out vacuuming this out here. Here's the TXV uh, for the two units. And that hasn't been looked at for many years. Only one air conditioner has worked in this building for a long time. And I wanted to revisit what the problem was. And kind of got quoted some stupid quotes on going here looking at this. But... Uh, when this was installed, the single phase line, which is the more efficient air conditioner, always vibrated. So, hopefully I just got a, uh, hope to heck it's just a braze here that's bad. Uh, instead of something major, if it's something on the end of the coil, I got to pull this whole sucker out of there. And then, any commercial guy wants to go ahead and replace the whole thing. And because it's so old, the, air, the heater here is hardly ever used. So if there's no heater, it's so, so hot down here, the heater's almost never used. When this is running on here, uh, the cover on here to get this off was kind of a booger bear because of this dumb thing. And Let's see if I can get the light over here better. So that coil is an A coil that we're looking at the side view and it's 48 inches long and then it's got two inputs on there connected together sort of like on an old car we had the uh, transmission and the radiator in one coil so if this has got a break in it somewhere um, you got to pull a whole coil out. It's not, it's not two separate coils in the sense they're mechanically connected together. But that's the fun I've got to do. I'm going to pressurize that with uh, dry nitrogen with a tad of uh, R22 and then I'm going to go in there and sniff around with the probe and see if it's just uh, something in the TXV is leaking or is it more elusive. But this install was done always vibrated when the single phase line ran which is kind of 
seems like they didn't really put enough gummy Gorilla Snot or gum on here to prevent it from vibrating. So uh, probably because it's vibrating, it may have gone ahead and just busted a, a copper uh, fitting up there, or, excuse me, a braze on it. And I'd be really happy if it broke something right here so you can just get at it. Uh, but this hasn't been looked at for about probably 12 years. We've been running on one air conditioner. So that's it. This is the drain line. So this has got an integral pan here. This whole pan here. It's got the E-coil. And normally in a setup like this, you put one E-coil above each unit. And if you go Google that and try to find that coil, it seems like that's a, a total... Uh, not doesn't show up or if it does it's probably obsolete it's got one 10 ton coil it's got two five uh, ton coils mechanically connect together into one giant a coil but uh, I don't know if anybody knows the part number or something like that it'd be helpful if you post it give me some advice that's it a carrier from 1985 with a ream from 1994.